All right. Well, for both you and Virgo, the, the cards are ready to talk today. And that is always a good sign. This one came out up face up. The Hierophant card. And the Page of Wands. Okay. Well, yeah, let's talk about this. Interesting. So the Hierophant card is a Major Arcana card, number five. And this is about learning. This can mean school, education. It can mean spiritual understanding, um, authorities, learning from authorities, learning from law enforcement. Uh, it can mean law enforcement. It can mean priest. It, it means a higher authority in learning. If you think about the, the major arcana, right, it starts with zero, and zero is the fool. He's a child who's sort of like... Uh -huh, I'm carefree and I'll just walk off this cliff and, you know, <laughs> or stand on this cliff and nothing will happen. And then, of course, there's the mother and the father, the empress, the emperor. And you, anyway, you get to number five and there's the hierophant because the child now goes to school. He's learning. He's, you know, deep, a deep and uh, meaningful change in his life. He's starting to learn a different type of learning, for lack of a better words, than he has previously. So I feel like that's what you are doing. Some of you Libras, now remember this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. If this these messages don't make sense and this is your Libra, Sun, then watch your Moon and or Rising sign. But I feel like some of you all are going through a lot of personal and or private, well, same thing, and possibly professional experiences that are taking you in a specific direction that you need to go. It's divinely orchestrated. <sighs> we don't always know what that's going to turn out to look like, do we? But the nice thing that comes up here is the Page of Wands. This represents a, f a fiery passion. A, a page is someone who gives news, right? The young dudes. He's a young dude, so he gives us news. News is about your career. I feel like some of you are going to hear some good news towards the end of February and early part of March. I think you're going to feel more inspired. This represents the signs of Sagittarius, Sagittarius Aries, and Leo. So if any of you all have any of those people or that's one of your rising or moon signs, then, you know, you're going to recognize this passion. And let's see, I want to feel into this, this person. Of course, the court cards are different for everybody. Um, I get that this could be a child for some of you. It could be one of the fire sign children. I, you know, obviously a very, um, open mouthed I'm seeing I'm closing my eyes while I'm doing this so open mouth ready to communicate uh ready to spill all right there on the spot so this could represent a child or it could be news that's coming to you about a new project it could be you hear the news of someone that's going to have a baby but I, I just feel like towards the end of February there's there's a change you're you're in the midst of learning and then now there's a change for you that you hear about. I think you're going to I think you're going to like it, Libra. Let's look at the first two weeks of March. Nice. Another major arcana card and we have the high priestess. So it's interesting you have both the hierophant which is about you know learning structure and then we have the high priestess who are both very archetypal um, powerful people. She's the most psychic, intuitive woman of the deck. She's uh, She represents intuition. She represents the ebb and flow of life. She represents the hidden agendas of life. Um, and she knows how to tune into them and to see what's real, what's not, what's working, what's not. So I feel like it. And then you have the King of Pentacles, for March. So this would be an earth sign. And you know, and I said this at the beginning of your, when I was looking at the crystal, I just feel like there's so much going on for you Libras professionally, um, within your own group, within your own family. There's a lot of, these are all distinct people. Now this represents a symbolism of, but as you can see, there's, there's two, 
distinct people. This King of Pentacles would be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And you're going to know right away who this person is for some of you. I get that feeling. Some of you, oh, yeah, yeah. I know who this person is, and they are a, you know, whatever. They're a Virgo, and um, they've been in my life, and, and you'll put the comments below. For others of you, yes, you're right. You don't know this person, but they are going to have a large impact on your life. They are someone who are someone who's very practical. They're good with money. They're good with business ideas. Um, and I feel like there's sort of a combining of efforts, if you will, with this king of pentacles. This king feels like, uh, let's see, let me ask, is this one who's beneficial for Libra, for most Libras? I feel like for most of you, he will be a benefit. Some of you are going to say, oh my God, that's my father and he drives me nuts or my you know, husband or could be a woman. Remember, don't get fooled by the... Um, the men and women that are the pen, the uh, king or queens because they can be man or woman. But just saying, I think most of you all are going to find this person interesting, successful. You want to emulate them. They may be a mentor. They may be a guide. They may be a compadre that you find fascinating and you want to be like them. You may see them on the, not the news, but on TV and maybe you want to emulate how they do their business and you want to do the same or their type of personality. I just, it, it, they're a very grounding personality as well. So it's very interesting how you have this really psychic woman, you know, you have six, seven chakra stuff here, very psychic and perspective. And then you have this very grounded man, which is awesome. I mean, that's coming from, and that's more the first, chakra stuff, you know, feeling financial secu financially secure, feeling safe, feeling um, like you, you know, you have what you need. You know, he has his castle and he has his money and he's satisfied with life. Let's see what the clarif or what the transition card is. Well, nice. The eight of pentacles. So we have the eight and the king. So for a lot of you Libras, this is going to be about your money and your work. We have the page who's about work, um, the, what you put out in life. I feel like you're going to be ready to start working hard again or at least be motivated about what you're doing. Could be some of you haven't felt motivated recently. It could be some of you have thought, well, I don't, you know, you may want to look at the, the last video that I did. Uh, but just saying, some of you may feel like, um, what am I trying to say? Like you've been a puppet, if that makes sense. Like you've been having to go so many different directions and take care of other people and take care of your own responsibilities and take care of your house and take care of your children, take care of your animals, just this, that, and the other. I feel like some of you have been a little bit tired. So this this, to me, though, is inspiration. This feels inspired to me. Interesting. Let's see what the crystal has to say. All right. This is for Libra, mid-February through mid-March. Let's see if there's a totem animal that comes up. You know, earlier I saw the, uh, the different faces that you'll... Um, well, the word apple comes to me, but the totem animal... Interesting. It turned from an apple into a dove. And dove, of course, means is peace. So peace and harmony, of course, that would be you, Libra, is really balancing your, your life so that you have that. And sometimes that means telling other people, no, if, you, if you're not available or that you don't want to feel be available, <laughs> let's put it that way, uh, to do something that you don't have to do for work, then you may, you know, the no may be the best answer. Um, this, any type of deception you've seen that could come out in the open and that could help harmonize or, um, smooth some ruffled feathers. Let's just put it that way. Let's see. Anything else for Libra? Uh, some of you will be into art, whether you enjoy painting or drawing or sculpting. 
sculpturing and or just going to a museum. But I just feel like some of you are going to be, um, it just relaxes you. I, I want to take a deep breath. In fact, I did take a deep breath when I said that. It's just like, ah, oh, this, this feels good. This helps me relax at the end of the day or on the weekend, you know, whatever the case may be. I feel like it's relaxing to you. Okay, Libra, I feel like you have some good aspects coming up especially going into March. For some of you, I just feel like your your money's going to, or your opportunity to make money is going to be enhanced. Let me know who this King of Pentacles is. Like I said, that would be an earth sign. So put in the comments below. And I'll add up the cards. We have five, six, seven, eight. She has two, so two, three, five is eight. And 8 is 16, 17. And 1 and 7 is 8. And there we go. That's, you know, it's about money. It's about abundance. It's about manifestation. Bridging the spiritual and the material together. So this would be bridging the spiritual, what you learn spiritually, and manifesting it out. Right? Okay, so let's look at the 17 for the... Um, for the major arcana cards is the star card. Loving that. So a star radiates or shines light, you know, when it's, it's time to. And if you think about the star card, it's a woman who's bending over. She's nude, but she's bending over a pond and she's, she has a, like a, uh, not a, a teapot, but a, a flowering, uh, pot. And she's pouring water into the water and then she has another hand behind her that's doing the same, and that water's coming out as well. She has one foot in the water in the pond and one foot on a rock, and the stars are in a circular motion with one large one in the middle. So the astrological omens feel like, for some of you Libras, that they're working in your favor. I very much would look closely at your work, the type of work you're doing. You may be changing throughout this year, throughout the next two, three, four months, your perception of your work, how you're doing your work, and who you are, uh, um, I want to say carousing with. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the right word. Um, partnering with, who your, who your clients are, who your, uh, the people that you, that you are around at your job. Um, you're going to be changing some of that. And I feel like I've said this before. So many, many blessings to you there in that particular mode. I'm looking here to see, if, uh, let's see, who, what the star card represents, what sign it represents. It may be Sagittarius, but I have a feeling that one of you all will, um, will know for sure. And, of course, we can Google that. But the star card it seems very important and apropos for this particular reading. I wish you the best, dear Libra. I think this is actually going to be a an interesting month to month. I think there's some really positive things coming up here. Your intuition is going to be heightened and you're going to be working with your income. You may be looking at your bottom line and saying, wow, there's more going out than there is, than there is in, how, how, you know, and doing that sort of balancing thing. But I think you come up with an answer. I think you really do come up with a lot of you with um, solutions to your, if you're having issues. 